good morning my dear students and welcome to big data analytics class and today's class is all about hadoop partitioners so let us see what is a hadoop partitioner so partitioner in map reduce is nothing but it controls the partitioning of the key of the intermediate mapper output i repeat it once again the partitioner in map reduce controls the partitioning of the key of the intermediate mapper output so that is about the partitioner so what is a partitioner and partitioner can be done by using the hash function so this is the function we are going to use that is called the hash function and the hash function is used to derive the partitions so using the hash function you are going to derive the partitions and according to the key value each mapper output is partitioned according to the key value each mapper output is partitioned and records having the same key value go into the same partition and then each partition is sent to the reducer so how the working of the partition goes is according to the key value each mapper output is partition and records having same key value whatever the records are having the same key value for example i want all the data words should go to one partitions all the hadoop words should go to one partitions all the words having value words should go to another partitions so what we are doing now all the according to the according to the key value pairs i have made the partitions and these partitions are sent to the reducer so here by doing like this reducer job will also will low, will reduce as well as we will be having a separate partitions basing on the need partition class determines which partition which partition a given key value pair will go that means all the data words should go to one partition all the hadoop word part will go to one partition all the words which is having a value word will go to the another partition so partition phase takes place after the map phase and before the reduce place so partition will come after the completing of the mapper job and once the mapper job is done then the partitioning is happening and the partition after the partitions the, those partitions will be given to the reducer so partitions in map reducers controls the partitioning of the key key of the intermediate data and the partitioning is done by the hash function and according to the key value the partitionings are done and once the partitions are done those data will be given to the reducer so in short and sweet the partitioner will come before the reducer that means the mapper job will first continue then the partition will come and the output generated by the partitions will be given to the reducer so there will be a default map reduce partitioners will be there what are the default map reduce partitioners here so the default hadoop partitioner in hadoop map reduce is hash partitioner is the default one hash partitioner is the default one and what is the duty of this is the duty of this is it computes the hash value it computes the hash value for the key and assigns the partitions based on the result so these are your default partitioners so what is the default partitioner hash partitioner is a default partitioner and hash partitioner computes the hash value for the key and assigns the partitions based on the results so let us see partitioner scenario how the partitioner will be working we'll see the scenario of partitioners you can see here i have two nodes node 1 and node 2 so files loaded from local disk so this is my local disk 
and from this local disk the files are loaded. So, all the input formats are there after that splittings are done then before the splitting and mapper we have a record readers are there which makes the record reading and these are my key value pairs and my map jobs are there and intermediate key value pairs that means basing on the value that means basing on this map value these partitions will go right and here sorting is done reducing is done and the final output format will come here. So, but the same operation will continue in the node 2 also here whatever the same values as I said you that the all data words will come into the data partition all the words which are Hadoop will come to come into another partition. So, here the shuffling process is going to be done in case here data word is there that will come into this partition in case if any Hadoop word is there it will come to this partition. So, whatever the similar words are there they will be shuffled here in between that is about the partitioner. So, partitioners are going to create an advantage we will be having a three partitions right that is why when you run the program generally whenever we run the program we get a one output file. But here whenever you run the partition programs if you have three partitions you are going to get three output files. If you have a four partitions you will be having a four partition four output files. In one output file all data which is having a data word will be there in another output file all words which are having a Hadoop word will be there in another partition all other remaining words will be there. That means, basing upon basing upon the logic which you write in the program basing on those the partition values will go into that particular values. So, in this fashion the partitioners will work. So, here the most important thing is partition here. So, partitioners is going to shuffle that means, whatever the similar values are there those are going to be shuffled. For example, all the salaries which are less than 1000 should go to partition 1, all the salaries less greater than 2000 should go to another partition. So, at that time the shuffling process is going to be done. So, here the partition phase takes place after map phase and before the reduce place. The number of partition is equal to the number of reducers. The data gets partitioned across the reducers according to the partitioning function. So, the difference between partitioners and combiners is that partitioner divides the data according to the number of reducers. So, that all the data in single partition gets executed by a single reducer. However, combiners function similar to the reducer and process the data in each partition and combiners is an a combiner is just like a optimization optimization to the reducer. And the default function the default partitioning function is the hash function where hashing is done on the key. So, let us conclude what is the partitioner. So, partitioner allows even distribution of map output over the reducer and in partitioner partitioning of map output takes place on the basis of the key and sorted that means based on the key how many keys are there I made three keys. So, based on that the outputs will go. So, this is about the conclusion of the partitioners here. So, thank you so much for listening the class we will meet in the next session and in the next session we will discuss about execution of partitioners and combiners we will see how to see in a practical manner the combiners and the partitioners. Thank you so much for listening the class.